Hey guys, now before jumping into today's video, we have some cool news. We're doing a giveaway of several bundles. The Battlegrounds Three Kingdoms bundle, Evil for Pandaria, and the Snake and Crane bundle. Now there'll be two giveaways for each of these, and it's so easy to enter. All you have to do is join the Discord that's in the YouTube description. Come down to the vids section uh, right here, and just react to the latest video, the one you're watching, with an eyes emoji. That's it. Super easy. You have really good odds, good luck, and I hope you enjoy the rest of the video. I do wonder again about kennels. Like, I don't know. Hmm. I don't know. I want to try this. I think this deck might eat Pirate Warrior alive. I wouldn't be surprised. This feels like one of those decks where it's like, it's going to make a disgusting tempo swing as Pirate Warrior, and the Pirate Warrior is going to get caught behind, and it's just over. Alright, I've been to Gamer Girl. Ooh, woo! I like bees. Dude, I just realized Squirrels, Squirrels and bees is actually the bees nuts opener. That's insane. It's so good. What an opener. Wow. We need to pull it off soon. Oh man, you drew patches. I'm so sorry. <laughs> okay, that was kind of rude. That was kind of incredibly rude of you. What is this? Does it make a difference? No. You definitely won? Yeah, I just need to get another beast. I need like a filler turn. Dude, is that turn three, second stage complete? Wow, look at that. Look at that low roll. <laughs> Poor Dave. Well, that seemed good. Um... I, I'm just gonna bump this. <laughs> like... I don't know. I think I see the winning line. Yeah, is it a loon into these, into this? That, that does seem good. Reflect in the moon. Am I even trading into the cannon? Like, I, I don't think I care. I could also... Just composting. I really don't- I really don't think, like, Lotus Double Trade is that good. Like, the cannon's probably not doing that much. Oh, man. What a swing! Holy shit. Oh, come on. <laughs> oh. Alright, up against um, Aggro a Priest. Um, I kind of want a full toss and look for like, a better one drop. I want to find Diamol. I want to find uh, Druid of the Reef. Um, bees and Squirrel. Oh, dude, we actually got the, the, the D's Nuts. We got the Bees Nuts opener. We did it. This is absurd, by the way. We actually have Knight for zero on turn three. Oh, piss off! Oh, 
Oh my god. That was even better than I could have imagined. Look at the tiny turtle. That was insane. We just played a one mana six three. <laughs> You're so talented. Thank you. It's about time I got some damn recognition around here. Anyone have a code for this deck? I'll uh, I'll grab it for you. Um, based. There you go. Damn, Corp, you're so cool. Ah, oh, thank you. Appreciate it. Dude, why are the bees so slow? Nice. So you're about a 6 6 on turn 3. It's like Dark Lair never left. You know, I think Squirrel might be slightly better than Penguin. Um, the trick is just a mega high roll. I like this hand. We are playing against uh, Aggro Rogue though, right? So maybe Maki Charge isn't it. Oh, sorry, not Aggro Rogue. We're playing against, God, uh, Pilger Rogue. <laughs> Um, Diamol Sentries. This is pretty decent, especially if we get Lotus or Arbor up. Yeah, Arbor up, Weblord. This is really nice. Why are the NA gamers playing Pillager Rogue? Um, well, it will be really good into slow Warlocks, but... It might just be, you know, um... Like, we're playing against a couple people who just happen to be playing it. <laughs> you know, like, everyone has their pet decks. Look at the tiny turtles. Yeah. I mean, like, what you see in top 100 is literally just, like, what people randomly decided to do. Like, whatever their personal preference is to play. And you're just going to, like, see that person multiple times in a few hours. So, <laughs> you know. Because it's such a it's such a specific subset of players, it can kind of create these weird perceptions. Like some random person that sees me playing Beast Druid and they're like, "Oh, I'll try Beast Druid." All of a sudden, it's like, "Whoa, twenty percent of the meta in top one hundred is Beast Druid." That's so weird. <laughs> why is that? Why is it like that? <laughs> um. Damn, everyone loves Beast Druid. That's crazy. Corp has 20 accounts. No, but you gotta remember, like, 80% of players <laughs> I camp. <laughs> well, they just aren't playing at that, uh, that time. Okay, this should be difficult for them to have lethal. I would be surprised. <laughs> Prep. Swindle. Mm-hmm. Coin. Minstrel can't play scabs this turn because you can't play foxy so your portrait's about to explode evasion fuck a one off now we're just gonna get adorable right adorable right off the top here right off the top or a Lotus. Oh, neither. <laughs> um. Do I care about opening up a board slot? Probably. Be nice. For the uh, Moonlit into another uh, Weblord if they play like Cloak or something dead yeah, they've already played one shark and like I, I don't know we sure they've already played prep and coin 
I feel like it has to be very difficult to have lethal here. Alright, let's go get another Weblord. Alright? Sounds good. Uh, this one? Weblord. <clears throat> Don't tell me you have like another cloak. Like, come on. Or like top deck coin into lethal or something. Bum, bum, bum. Out of the kitchen and into the frying pan. Potion, butter, pillager, pillager. God, are they actually gonna do it again? Like top deck coin. Uh oh. Butter, pillager, pillager. Actually gonna be lethal through the thing again? That's crazy, man. Oh, they're off. <laughs> okay, good. <laughs> Hey, let's go, dude. I haven't been ranked two yet this season. Nice. I've been hard stuck ranked three for so long. All right, so uh, Ben's playing um, Even Hunter. So if I get a one drop base, we have turn three Matriarch. I can toss the sentries and try and find like one drop into a different play. Or we can just high roll. We can just top deck a Vibrant, a Druid, and Adorable. Six out of like 27. <laughs> Honestly, like even if we whiff on the one drop, it's kind of fine. If I pick up an Alune, I can go Alune Matriarch on four. We have turned like Alune would be a really good draw as well. So, oh my God. <laughs> Fellfire? Bloodseeker, wow. <laughs> okay. Uh, do we go wider? Oh, with the composting, yeah, for sure, right? Like, I make this bump so we get extra minions. Yeah, it's worse than the explosive, but, like, it's so good with the composting. Damn, look at that. <laughs> I'll show them. I'll show them. They're setting up explosive. So like if I'm gonna wait a turn, I probably do it like uh die mole, adorable the die mole. And then double trade uh, face face and then end on the double trade. So like we do this. Uh, I guess they're running freezing trap. I guess we keep this one alive. Okay. Kind of looks like, yeah, he's setting up for explosive pretty blatantly. Um, I wonder what we want to do around this. Oh, that's so good. I don't know. I guess we can just do this. There's not much downside. If it's pressure plate as well, we just get the green light. That we can go face. I was just gonna wait if it was uh if they didn't if the secret didn't trigger I was just gonna wait one turn and then uh, load us the following turn. This matchup's a bit spooky. I'll be real. What is this? Oh my god! 
Uh, 37. Thank you very much for those 22 months. Oh my god, welcome back. Thank you. Really appreciate it. Thank you so much. Um, damn, it's such a long ass time. <laughs> Thank you for the 22. Defile, it's always defile. I know, it's always defile. Um, I don't know whether to keep Matriarch on one Lotus. Like, I can actually see tossing both of these, keeping one of them, or, like, keeping them both. Um, Lotus is pretty optimistic. Matriarch is also pretty optimistic. Maybe I just go looking more for, like, composting and weblord. That might make more sense in this matchup. <laughs> Librarian. Oh no. Oh, this doesn't look good. Um Coin Weblord's super dicey. I can also go coin hero power. <laughs> That's also very cringy, but uh I think it might be coin weblord. <laughs> I don't like it, but it is what it is. Grimoire? Damn, very aggressive opener here from Ogre. Oh, Bees is huge. Okay, um, probably let's go for Guidance, right? Composting, like, we're not getting any value out of it, but I just need the cards so badly that we'll just take it for sure. It's awesome. Uh, next turn, Bees, and then hopefully we can set something up for turn four with, like, Marky Charge, Composting, something like that. I was actually kind of looking for like Knight of the Wild or Matriarch or something. Um, yeah, just play bees. <laughs> Probably, if we get a one drop, I'll go one drop, one drop, uh, compost thing. I definitely want to get the composting down, like, ASAP. Oh, that's so good. Um... Oh, it's so risky, though. I kind of want to not play this, because I can't even get the squirrel down alongside it. I, I really want full value out of this, but I don't know. He's definitely going to clear it. Yeah, the thing is, he's already played one Grimoire, and it would deny... I just want to create boards that deny the uh, the rod, right? I want to make rod like super awkward every turn. I think I do this for first. That's really good. Yeah, I want to. I want to push it so that he he can't ever rod. So I think I even value trade. To make this scarier. I know it opens up to file. But he probably feels like he can't value he probably feels like he can't rod if he's facing down um Arbor up fifteen. At the next turn it'll be like bees composting matriarch knight. Not in that order, but you know what I mean. Hi Corb, hi Luke. Next turn's our kill turn. Like, this is insane. Uh, I ran out of board slots. <laughs> I actually didn't want this. Is this even worth it? Why don't I just do this? I guess it does open up a shit ton of draw. I get an extra two minions down. It's probably worth it. It's pretty good.
crushing walls positioning? Sorry. My bad, my bad. <laughs> I'm for now not goodness. It's a little bit more minion heavy, but maybe. I, I, I could just be wrong. Like, maybe it is good. Weblord's huge. Weblord's massive here. This makes it so difficult to clear. Look at that, that's nasty. Damn. Where the spells? Yeah, it's a little bit more minion dense. Like we're running like dire mole, I guess, but I don't know. If you're running like nature studies and kennel, I can see it a lot more, I think. Are they actually gonna be able to clear? It'd be crazy. Please don't. <laughs> touch, touch the file. Do they have the clear? Train soul. Okay, okay, okay. That's fine. They lost the rod. We love it. Oh, we got Knight of the Wild. Okay. Um. So just arbor up composting again. Fucking gross. <laughs> I'm posting before. Open draw doesn't really matter. It's not like I'm going to fatigue. I might, I might eventually want the extra cards. Well, I, I won't. But I mean, it's not like fatigue's relevant. Such a good response. I thought I had it. I thought I was gonna win for sure. Oh, the acorns are like pretty. Oh, sorry, the squirrels are pretty big, but um, probably still not in a great position. Holy shit! I'm why? Why am I wasting all my squirrels? <laughs> How many do I mill? I only mill like two, right? One. Yeah, I mill one then. Yeah, another. Okay. <laughs> Dude, the night of the wild down to uh, two, just off the squirrels. <laughs> Yeah. Hopefully they don't have a defile. Okay, so how much do we have? Uh, 10, 20, 25. We just have lethal. Nice! I'll turn the cam on for this. Bye, Anchor. You did a great job, buddy. <laughs> hey, we did it.